and watch and watch it. It's about an hour long, and you'll see children from all over the world uh, reading scriptures uh, for the carol service. Uh, children who are being sponsored um, by by uh, Christians across across the UK. So um, a little treat for you next Sunday, okay? And uh, just be prepared that we may need your email address if we haven't already got it uh, to be able to send it to you. Okay. Jolly good. Um, now, coffee morning after the service today, half past 12 or thereabouts. Join with us for a time of fellowship together. Food share this week is slightly different. It's a double week, so people are coming to do a double shop um, because obviously we won't be open for food share next week. So from 2 o'clock till half past 4 on Monday, Tuesday from half past 10 to half past 4, and then Wednesday, 10, half, past, uh, half past 10 till 2 on Wednesday. So it's a spread over three days and a shortened day. Monday and Wednesday. If you know anybody that needs help or needs support, then please point them in the direction of food chair. Thursday morning, Lynn will be conducting the last um, chair rubrics for this year uh, on on uh, Zoom, and then Thursday afternoon at half past one here will be a celebration of. Agnes's life after the uh, funeral service for the family at the crematorium. So on Thursday is the uh, celebration of life of Agnes um, at half past one here. Now that will mean you'll need to book in uh, because we have to maintain all the social distancing rules and, and uh, regulations, etc. Uh, so there is opportunity for you to do that online on the Eventbrite or by phoning and speaking to Karen and book yourself in. Please do that. Um, the service in the crematorium for the committal is at half past 12, but that is just for family. As you'll appreciate, the numbers are limited in the crematorium and the numbers of family are mid-20s, so there's, there's quite a number. But the service here for for you folks from Shore Hope Church, I'm sure you want to come and celebrate the life of Agnes um, at half past one on Thursday. Um, just to mention, though, there's no Bible study now until the new year. Um, and I've written something. Oh, yes, next week, being Christmas week, we have the Christmas meal uh, that's been provided and it was announced last week. Um, so that's going to be provided Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Not this coming week now, but the following week. And if you've booked in um, or you know, you know somebody that would benefit, please make, make it known. Okay. And thank you to all those who are helping with the cooking and with the deliveries. It's going to be a, a, a landmark moment, I believe, for us as a church as we're reaching out to so many and uh, the, the Ministry of Flowers is just, <laughs> it's blooming, shall we say. <laughs> and uh, it's blooming well. It's really good. Uh, so many people have been encouraged and blessed again this week. Uh, people who are, who are not really connected with us at all, except through connections of friendship and conversation. And it's so wonderful that we've been able to bless so many people over this last uh, few weeks. I think we're well over 100 bunches of flowers now that have been given from the church. Isn't that wonderful? So we give God praise. Thank you for that. Right, have I remembered everything? I think so. Um, Christmas Day, I should say, Christmas Day, I, I'm putting together and I'll be contacting folks and asking you to do a little contributions on a recording and we'll put together a virtual online service for Christmas Day. How's that? Okay. And uh, I'll be in touch this week, no doubt. <laughs> Please help me <laughs> if I give you a call. <laughs> All right. You up for that? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 